Hey YouTube, Repo Man sixty four. Got a little flack over uh, comparing um, Lazarus with the tribulation. I'm sorry, the uh, the hundred forty four thousand, or no, the dead in Christ rising first. A little bit of flack over that. People are like, but that's thirteen days before Jesus rises, and we're gonna see them up in the air for 13 days before we go and then a lot of people got in there and rightfully so were like no we meet them in the air and i'm sitting here going this doesn't make sense um how does this how does this work out and then that's when i think i realized and, and i'm looking for some comments in the comment section um uh, to, to help me through this but i think that lazarus represents the 144,000. Um, if Lazarus, and this is just me surmising, if Lazarus represents the 144,000 uh, virgin Jews that are raised, are they raised before the rapture event that we're looking forward to happens? And if so, can we show in the Bible where, and I know we can show in the Bible where God is holding back the four winds from the four corners of the earth to uh, not allow anything to happen, nothing to happen, until the 144,000 are sealed. Does it state anywhere that the second that they're sealed, that the winds are let loose? Or, or is it that the winds are held in place for 13 days, or 10 days, as it were, it would be 10 days, and I'm gonna show you why. After God seals the 144,000 uh, virgin, virgin Jewish males that believe on Jesus Christ. And we had discussions before that we thought perhaps, or we think perhaps, that the 144,000 are those that died for the Word of God, which the Word of God, as we know, is Jesus, um, who were the first people to die for Jesus, and those would be the babies that were two years and under um, during the time of Herod. And that was a good discussion, and, it, and that might be true, that these are the people. Or these 144,000 are here today, and uh, they will be sealed with a mark, and no harm will come to them during the seven-year tribulation. I believe that the 144,000 will be here throughout the seven-year tribulation to guide in every single tribulation saint, as the Bible teaches. So, we cannot compare Lazarus to the dead in Christ rising first, because that event is literally 13 days before Jesus rises and 10 days before Jesus goes to the cross. But I want to show you something that dawned on me, came to me, and I was like, that makes a lot more sense. And I definitely like the input in the comments section, um, uh, helping us through this. And, and some people are, are like way off and some people are so close uh, to, and, and using Bible verses to prove what we say. We just can't feel it, we have to, to know it. And I'll show you this real quick. Right here, um, Jesus is explaining when Lazarus died, I showed you this on the last video. Lazarus died on the day of equal parts, on the day where there's 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of darkness. They match, and that actually is, is a thing that does happen on March 16th of this year. It happens on March 16th of every year. It also happens on September the 26th. It happens twice a year. And so... Jesus must have been referencing this time here because it, in fact, does occur 13 days before he rises and 10 days before he goes to the cross. So, as you know, I've been working on this timeline right here. And I'll leave this up here for a second for any of you that want to take a picture of it. But uh, I did a terrible job of highlighting uh, when John was born and when Enoch was conceived. But that is when Lazarus died. A lot of stuff happened on the day of equal parts, on March the 16th. As you can see, uh, that's the last day, the final Sabbath of the year, 
And the first day of the year is March 17th. And if you count four days, you'll see up there at the top, I wrote Lazarus alive four days later. Jesus resurrects him four days later. And then I had a video where I thought, maybe, could that be the dead in Christ that, that rise? But then I remembered the event at the cross. And you can find this in the Bible. I'm, I, I, I didn't uh, put this up here, but we can find it in the Bible. We all know the story that when Jesus died, a great earthquake occurred. And many people rose out of their graves and walked into the holy city. That represents the dead in Christ rising and going to heaven. And then, and then, three days later, Jesus, being alive, rose up into heaven for seven days and returned with his glorified body on the great eighth day to Lazarus in the upper room. So the... the the concept that I'm putting out there now, and I would love to work through this with you, is that the 144,000 are sealed. Lazarus would have been sealed. He was sealed in the tomb. He was raised and brought forth out of the tomb for everyone to see, and that is to the, uh, Jesus said, for the glory of God. And then um, 10 days later, at the cross, you can see a bunch of people that are raised and go into the holy city. That would be the, the dead in Christ. And then three days later, Jesus rises. Is it possible? And that's, that's what I'm, I'm leaning towards here. Is it possible that, uh, that Jesus, during that earthquake that happens, when Jesus dies on the cross and all those graves are thrown open, could that become our worldwide event, which would happen on March 30th? Nissan 14, the first month and the 14th day, Jesus goes to the cross. He is the Passover. And three days later, he rises. You'll read in the four Gospels of John, Luke, Mark, and Matthew, there's only two Gospels where they touched Jesus, and that was the Luke Gospel and the John Gospel. They don't discuss that in Mark or Matthew, and you can see that for yourself in there. And so, anyway... I think it's a bit of a relief for those who, and I thought, and, I, and, I, and when I brought it out, I was like, this, that's a lot of days, 13 days. This might bring a little uh, comfort to those who were, and they were in the comment section going, seriously, 13 days? We got <laughs> we to wait here for 13 days and while they're up there? And, and the answer is Lazarus didn't go anywhere. Lazarus was um, resurrected, and he stayed right there. Uh, with uh, with everyone. The same thing happened, uh, or a similar thing happened at the cross when the earthquake happened. The people rose, but they went into the holy city. Lazarus didn't go into the holy city. Is Lazarus a picture of the 144,000 virgin Jew, Jewish males? And is the cross, when that happened, is that the dead in Christ? And at that moment, the earthquake happens, and then, and then is it three days later when Jesus ascends to heaven uh, quietly that afternoon? Uh, he, ra he raises in the morning, but that afternoon he disappears. There's no discussion of Jesus until the eighth day with Thomas, and then after that you have all these discussions of him walking around for 40 days and uh, saving people, which is uh, it's happened in the past. It's going to happen in the future. Um, there's nothing new under the sun. So thought I'd bring you that. Just some things to chew on, things to think about. I'm going to keep working on it myself. And I realized that last night, and I was like, you know, that uh, that concept makes a lot more sense. Are we going home? Are uh, the dead in Christ going to uh, go on uh, March the 30th into the Holy City? And on the way up, are we going on that day? Or are we going on April the 2nd when Jesus rose and went up to heaven to spend those seven days with his bride? and then returning on the great eight day to Thomas in the upper room. There's a lot to think about, and uh, I definitely love the comment section. I'm going to put a link to God a Minute's uh, Discord at the bottom, and uh, I'm in there uh, in, the ver in the voice chat, and I would just love, I've learned so much in there. I've absolutely learned so much uh, in, in that voice chat. We go over and chew over ideas and, and think about things. And I'd uh, be really curious to hear anybody's thoughts. And it's so much easier to talk one-on-one -on -one in the voice chat, on God Voice Chat, 
um, than to text back and forth because I think there's some misinterpretations and misunderstandings in that. And uh, half the text, I don't know if you know this, but half the stuff that people, the comments that go in there don't even come through, and it's not me that's removing them. I keep getting accused. You're removing my comments. I, I'm literally not. Unless it's, like, mean-spirited and you're just not being nice, no, I won't. I, I don't I, – if you have an opposing view, I welcome that because I love – good discussions on biblical ideas and I, I literally won't take your comment out for that so that's not true so just uh like i said the the voice chat is so much easier uh to go in there you can go in there you can talk to me you can talk to aaron of course it's his it's his uh discord and talk to him directly um uh john from the the, the watchman for that great day is in there there's a lot of big hitters in there I'm the small hitter, but there's definitely a lot of big hitters in there that you can go in and talk to, and we can mull over these ideas and hash them out and, and see if we can come up with something. Aaron's been working on a timeline. I've been proud to be part of helping him put that together, and there's a lot of us that are helping him put that together, and uh, he's not going with any calendar. He's just going with if, with the dates in the Bible. Like uh, Haggai has four different dates in the Bible, and I think it's four or five different references to these dates, and that's what he's looking for, uh, stuff like that, that, you know, like, when did the flood happen? Well, it happened in the second month and the 17th day. The Bible tells us these dates, and he's putting them all on a graph so that we can say, well, this event's coming, this event's coming, you know, and uh, it's a really good idea. I like what he's done, and uh, and uh, look forward to seeing that final, uh, uh, that, that final print, I mean. When does it apply to our calendar? I have my idea. Others have their idea. Some start the year at the equinox. I start the year at the equal lux. Some argue that there's 360 days in a year. Or there used to be, and I say I don't see that. I see that Enoch says there were 360, but there's four days for the gates, the four gates. So it's actually 364, but that's that's another topic we can discuss in there. So anyway... RepoMan64, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, getting over 5,000 subscribers. I don't make any money off this. I, I never do. I, I, and if I hope there's no commercials because I don't approve of any commercials on my stuff. Um, and uh, I, the, the more uh, subscribers that go in there, the more the easier it is to operate. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but my videos have gotten better over the time because it opens more doors in YouTube for us to do more things the more subscribers you have so um, remember go to a quiet place by yourself nobody needs to know and you don't need to tell anybody and accept the Lord into your heart and then go tell everybody give them the gift that was given to you salvation so we will chat with you later